Sometimes it's hard to see what's right under your nose. And the four movie theatre is a projector that has now been out for around 500 days. But as you can see from this picture, it is absolutely exceptional. And it's still definitely an ultra short throw triple laser projector that you ought to consider. Look at this dark scene, unbelievable. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So this projector has now been out for 500 days and it delivers an incredible picture and it's still one of my favorite projectors that has been released in the last couple of years. In the box you get everything that you'd expect, the user manual, a wiping cloth, the power cable and the remote control. Now the remote control works really well, it is very simple and it's not backlit. I would like to see that being something which they improve, maybe on next year's model. But this, this is the star of the show. Now it is really simple and I really like the clean straight lines and the simpleness. The one thing that I'm not a big fan of is the four movie sign in the middle. I wish that was much more like the Bowers and Wilkins sign. On each side of the projector is the fabric covering the speakers and there's adjustable legs and a microphone switch on the right hand side. On the back you have HDMI inputs, there's three of those which has one which is an eARC. There's also two USBs, a line out, an optical audio and also a LAN port which again is a nice touch and just at the bottom there is your power connection. As you can see, my dog has got the prime spot right in front of the screen, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that later. But I'm projecting onto a 100-inch ALR screen from around 7 feet away, and that, believe me, is perfect. At 2,800 lumens, it delivers an incredible picture even in the middle of the day. I don't think you'll quite believe how bright this still is when that blind is right at the top. It is absolutely exceptional, and with a 3000 to 1 contrast ratio, that only helps deliver the incredible picture and the difference between the dark and the light. So the beauty with these ultra short throw laser projectors is that they deliver an incredible image from just a few inches away from the wall, and the sound comes at you from the front. So you don't technically need to have a separate sound system, although it is still something that I recommend. Now, the light source on this is an ALPD 4.0 RGB plus triple laser light. Now, that is around 30% more powerful than the ALPD 3.0. So, you're getting 107% of the Rec 2020 color gamut, and it delivers just an amazing all-round picture. And it doesn't really matter, as you'll see throughout this video, what you're putting into it. Here I'm playing the latest Call of Duty game, and even in these dark, dark scenes, it looks absolutely exceptional. And you'll notice that even though I've lowered the blind, you're still getting a lot of light coming through. Plus I've got my computer on in the background and there's also a couple of lamps on in the room. So to get this level of brightness with all of that ambient light, it does also mean that you don't have to sit in a perfectly dark room. But the picture is just so sharp, it almost looks like 3D. At the time of its launch, this was the world's first 4K ultra short throw triple laser projector that supported Dolby Vision. And ever since then, it really has set the benchmark for both picture quality and overall performance. And if you are going to be comparing any other projector to another one, well then we definitely recommend compare it to this one, the 4 Movie Theatre. This runs Android TV 11 and that has everything that you'd expect it to have. You do need to have a workaround for Netflix because that's not supported out of the box. But a Fire Stick and Apple TV will solve that problem. But everything else within that works brilliantly. Apple TV app, Disney Plus app, it's all there. The setting screen is easily accessible from the remote control and as you'd expect there are just hundreds of different options for you to choose. There's 4 and 8 point keystone correction with fine tuning also and there's electronic focus which is super easy to do and you'll have a super sharp image. There's also Dolby Vision settings, in fact there's settings for pretty much anything. Again I'm not going to go into that much detail within this video but if you do want to change things then you definitely can.
It also has other smart technology like MEMC, which is Motion Enhancement Motion Compensation. And this is where frames are inserted to give you the smoothest motion when you're watching certain programs or movies. Well, suddenly my dog is really interested because a cat has just come onto the screen. That looks like lunch to her. But as you can see from the quality and the sharpness of the image, it is just exceptional. Dolby Vision content also looks absolutely brilliant. And in fact, there hasn't really been anything that I've put through this projector that isn't just perfect. I do think most people will want to dial back the colors on some scenes because when I first got it, it was a little bit oversaturated. And so therefore dialing back maybe the reds and his, as you can see here, maybe the blues will definitely be an advantage. But for the majority of people, if you chuck this into standard mode, which is probably the mode that I recommend for most people, then they're going to have an exceptional experience. Now having Dolby Vision means that you also have Dolby Atmos and with the two 15 watt Bowers and Wilkins speakers it really does sound great and this is one of only a few projectors that I've tested over the last year or so where I would be happy to listen to a movie just on this. Okay, in terms of gaming, I think the majority of gamers will be very happy with this. The only thing I think a few of you competitive gamers will want is maybe a faster input lag. This has an input lag at 4K at 30 frames per second at 63 milliseconds, which probably isn't quick enough. You can quicken that up as low as 34 milliseconds if you drop down to 1080p. But for me, and probably for the most of you, it will be an absolute minor issue. It is absolutely incredible gaming on this type of projector with that screen size. Now, if you're paying this type of money for a projector, I think it has to do an incredible job in SDR content as well. And watching standard TV just in HD is also really impressive. In fact, as I mentioned earlier, there isn't really anything that this doesn't handle well. As I said, you may want to just dial back the blues and make some minor adjustments to the picture. But believe me, once you've done this, you will have an incredibly impressive picture, which looks super, super cinematic. Okay, so just before we finish, let's just cover off some of those specs so that you can recap. This is 2800 ANSI lumens and has 107% of the BT2020 color gamut. So you're going to get really accurate colors. Although I do have to say that does require a little bit of tweaking, but I just recommend that you tweak it to get it how you want. The maximum screen size is 150 inches and it's recommended that a minimum screen size would be 80 inches. The sound is from Bowers and Wilkins and it's two 15 watt speakers. It supports Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10 plus decoding and the contrast ratio is 3000 to 1. Audio support is Dolby Atmos, Dolby Audio, DTSX, and DTSHD, which is a nice touch. The light source is a triple laser ALPD 4.0 RGB plus, and that is 30% more powerful than the ALPD 3.0. The throw ratio is 0.23 to 1. And finally, the form factor of this projector is pretty small. It's 550 millimeters by 349.2 by 107.5, and it weighs just light of 10 kilos at 9.8 kg. So my friends, in a year where we've seen big advancements in this type of technology, it's important not to forget the ones that have been out for a little while longer. And this has won so many awards and has got so many plaudits that it really has to be on your watch list if you're in the market for this type of device. Anyway, my friends, I hope that you found this video helpful and it's just given you some more information to help you make that purchase decision. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really look forward to seeing you on the next.